but one is the weather. We get as much rain as London and about, if not less, sun than London. So although it's beautiful a lot of the time, it rains all the time. It kind of comes down for a few minutes, goes away, comes down. So I have an umbrella. Got blankets so I can sit comfortably on the ground. Um, ticks are another problem in this country. Unfortunately, kind of came across Europe in a big whoosh and now we've got ticks everywhere. So you never want to sit directly on the ground, especially if it's tall grass. So bring a blanket and you'll be safe. Third thing, bring something to eat. Bananas are always good. High in protein, lots of energy. Sorry, high in potassium, full of energy. So I like doing that too. I've got a block of paper for sketching. I've got my iPad, just in case, and for taking a few pictures. I've got my brushes, my water brushes, my Kalinsky brush that I'm going to be using today, um, pencils, erasers, and all that fun stuff. I've got my travel watercolor kit uh, that is a bazillion years old and still kicking. And so that's the only one I brought today. This is the only paint kit I've got. I like it because it's really, really light. I brought some liquid mask just in case because this building is so white I thought I might want to do some masking off of certain places. I don't know. We'll see as we go. This one's pretty cool because it's got the little uh, needle at the end. Normally I don't have one with a needle. I just found it and thought, oh, I'm going to try that out. Um, I got some extra pieces of paper in that little box. I've got another sketchbook for picker sketches. I've got my small uh, piece of wood here to do my little sketches my little paintings and I've got the bigger one that goes with this piece of paper here so I can clamp that in there for a larger board. The only other thing is I've got a tiny little tripod for my iPad just in case I get bored and want to watch a movie or something or check out my videos. I brought water today. I know that sounds wild but I actually forgot water in the last few videos I've been doing. So this is my spray water for spraying it quickly onto the paints and this one's for cleaning the brushes you know, a normal water. And I've got the big water to exchange the little water. Also brought ink. Ink, which will make a huge mess, which is why I have paper towel to go with my ink so that I don't get ink on my white blanket. Voila! That's everything I've brought with me. Actually probably don't need all of this. Lunch and something to drink. If I drink this water or if I pour it in there, who knows. Those will be my two highest things. Bring paper, paint, and brushes because that's what we're doing and otherwise you'll be fine. You really don't need anything else. And if you do, collect it as you go and learn from your experience. There's no point in lugging tons and tons of stuff, you know, and then uh, realizing you don't need it anyway. Okay, so let's start painting. To start my sketches, I'm going to use uh, a dip pen. Now, I know a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of artists in general love to use markers. Um, and markers are fantastic. They definitely get the job done, all that good, lovely stuff. But my problem with markers is that there are so many animals out there that are dying because they're eating all these bits and pieces. Um, you know, the plastic tops, the plastic bottoms, the plastic middles, and the centers and everything else that eventually ends up in the garbage. So anytime that I can make a conscious effort to avoid garbage, I try to do that. So that means this, which is going to last forever and ever and ever, um, the nib, if I'm careful, if I don't jam it on the paper, should last, you know, could last a lifetime. I've had some for almost 20 years now. And the ink comes in a glass container and I can always refill it with larger containers of ink or I can just get more. Um, I also reuse the bottoms for other things. You can just put um, paint in them. So, and this is made of bamboo and wood, or actually wood and a cork variety. Cork is also one of these things you want to avoid. I didn't realize that was cork. Anyway, there's a lot of things, but in the world of what's good and what's not good, let's avoid plastic as much as possible. So that being said, I'm going to do dip pen, pen and ink. I also love pen and ink, the way it looks. Uh, it's just gorgeous, the way uh, it flows on the paper. It's so much more fun to use. So we've got our Schloss. Welcome to Arnsburg Schloss. Now, right. So this is my initial sketch. I just want to lay out the sketch and get a feel for what's going on here. I know that there are four round corner towers and three center pieces on both sides. The back, of course, or actually this is the back we're looking at. The front, I can't see it anyway. And so I'm going to say, let's go with, let's say it starts over here, maybe to here, and maybe the second one is over there. Then...
Okay, so the big key here is paint or draw in this case. Draw what you see, not what you think you see. And I have to tell you, it's really not always easy. So I'm looking at this thing, this doesn't make any sense. That shouldn't look like that. But in fact, that's how it looks. Now, I've kind of squashed it, but this is just a sketch. I just want to get the basics out, right? So if you want to do this over and over, um, this is also the first time I've ever painted this Alice Brigade Schloss. Look, there's a puppy! And cleaning the nib is really simple. I'm just going to take my dirty nib, stick it into the water. It's of course going to completely muck up my water. I'm using paper towel or an old rag. Okay, so I've got my castle. Um, I've sketched it out here. Now I would have done that in pencil and I would have done that a lot faster. But I wanted to do it in pen and ink um, for a few reasons. One, to show you guys how crazy simple it is to just take a, a dip pen and some ink with you. Um, and it's just so much more fun and classy and traditional and just awesome than using a, you know, plastic pen. Um, but also because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So you can see what it looks like and if I did it with uh, charcoal or... Um, charcoal might have been okay, but if I did it with um, what is that one? graphite, then it would be hard for you to see. So I've got my page and I've got my sketch. Now with the sketch and with the photo, I could go home, but part of doing, I could go home and then do my painting there, but I don't want to, I want to do it here, right? That's obviously as weather permitting, here is the best option. Um, a big part of doing your sketch first is it helps you feel where things are and the perspective and the shape and the lines. It gives you a feeling for how long this is gonna be, how wide it's gonna be, how big it has to be, you know, like all that kind of stuff. I took a little bit of time and counted, you know, okay, so the windows have this many, this and this many, that, and, you know, that kind of thing. So when I paint, I have that, just a little bit of muscle memory kind of in there. I've already, you know, it's like reading a text twice. I kind of understand what it looks like a little better because I have drawn it out. So that's the same concept. I highly recommend doing your sketches first before you do your paintings, pretty much no matter what you're doing, unless you've done it before. Um, and even if you have, it's gonna help you on your journey. I don't want too much water in there, otherwise it will give me really sharp edges and then an irregular pattern. So I want to lift out any extra water and make sure I blend it in with the other water that's there in order to give me a smooth uh, lay down of paint. Okay. Then this one also goes up. And one of the cool ways of going up is to just do a straight line in the center. Here we got a little backwash there, we don't want that. Just run.
The Schloss, the Arnsburger Schloss. I have now done it four times. I did, um, this is just the top piece, the very top corner. We, of course, started with our pen and nib or dip pen um, sketch with real ink. Then I did uh, a drawing and I plopped in um, the masking fluid on this one. But it is so moist out here. Luckily it's not hot, but it's so moist that it is still tacky, like after about two hours of drawing and painting. So we're gonna have to finish that one at home. This, the paper is even really moist. This one luckily did dry. This is just blocking in the color. And this one is the details on the top. And the whole concept here is that with these four scribbles, I will have enough information that I can now go home and make a real watercolor painting, as well as the fact that I now learned exactly what the Schloss looks like, or at least I have a good idea in my head of what it looks like, so that will help me when I am painting it, if I ever want to paint it again. So I will go home and do that. Um, I'm going to work on this one later on, and I'll film it so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, please check me out on Patreon. There'll be Patreon. There'll be lots of extras. Some of these in more detail may show up there. Some of these may be on YouTube. I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. But come on over to Patreon if you love my stuff and you want to give me a thumbs up and show me, uh, show me your love. Give me some support. Then you can do it there. And there's lots of great, awesome goodies there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our lovely trip to Allensburg and to our little local castle. And I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo. Join me on Patreon for some awesome extras. Patreon.com slash Damon.